In this lesson, we're going to cover how can I use the Cartesian coordinate plane. Um, so, in the past, you've probably seen a coordinate grid where you have a y-axis going up and down and an x-axis going side to side, but you've only ever looked over here. This is what we call quadrant one. So this would be quadrant one, usually represent it like that. Now that we've talked about like negative numbers, you can actually include them in the coordinate plane. Um, and this is this whole thing is going to be called your Cartesian coordinate plane. This whole thing with quadrant one, and then over here you kind of go you go counterclockwise. This is what we call quadrant two, represented in Roman numerals. Quadrant three is down here, and this is quadrant four. And so, say you have the point two comma two. This is always going to be x, comma, y, and so you go over 1, 2, and then you go up 2, and you put your point right there on 2, comma, 2. Well, now we have talking about integers and negative numbers, so we might say negative 2, comma, negative 2. And what you're going to find out is that basically if you have two negative coordinates, you end up in quadrant 3, so you go negative 2, and then you go negative 2, and you end up here. Um, and so, to say this was point A, we could put an A here. And this was point B, we could put a B here and label these two points A and B, um, of which those are their coordinates and how you get there. Again, you go X first, then Y. Some of the vocabulary involved here is up here you have your Y axis. And over here you have the X axis. You always start at the origin when you're plotting a point, and that is 0, 0. 0, 0 is called the origin. Um, you then have your quadrants. This is quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. And this whole thing is called the Cartesian coordinate plane, like from the essential question. Um, and then finally, really, what you need to worry about is ordered pairs and putting them on here, ordered pairs. So to do that, you might have ordered pairs A, B, and C. And ordered pair A could be negative 2, comma, 3, and they're always going to be set up in x, comma, y. So you do your x coordinate first, then your y coordinate. B could be 2, comma, negative 3, and C could be negative 2, comma, negative 3. So the same numbers, just different positive and negative signs. So we say we go to plot point A. I'm going to go back negative 2, 1, 2, and then up positive 3, 1, 2, 3, and that is right here, and then I'm going to label that point A. Um, for, so that one's done. So B would be 2 and then 3, so positive 2, 1, 1, 2, and then negative 3. 1, 2, 3, and that's going to be B. And C would be negative 2, 1, 2, and then negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Put a point there, and that would be C. Say now we have a number, a coordinate pair, an ordered pair like this. That's 2 thirds comma negative 2. Um, so this means that your x coordinate is going to be 2 thirds. I mean, you don't even go the whole distance. I'm going to zoom in here. And say, okay, so two-thirds uh, would be probably right about here, just estimating. And then the other one, the other coordinate was negative two. So I come back in, and I go down two. So from here, I go down, I go, oops, ten. I go down one, two. And my point would actually be there, and then I could label that point D. And I can zoom out here and see that. Um, so again, this is ultimately... How can I use the, coordinate, the Cartesian coordinate plane? And we just use it to put ordered pairs on there um, using x and y coordinates.